Hey there, welcome to yet another episode of Baking with me in the kitchen space. In today's episode, let's make one of my favorite snack and we are making a banana bread and these are the list of ingredients that I have for today's recipe. And from this corner I have my all-purpose flour, I have some ripe bananas, my baking powder, some two eggs, some margarine, but you can also use butter. I have some sugar, some cooking oil, vanilla essence and some salt. And without further ado, let's get started. So let's start by prepping our bananas and just to mention uh, the riper your bananas the better and by this I mean that those bananas that are extremely dark like this are uh, everywhere those are the best bananas but today we are working with what we have and I've been patient enough and these bananas don't seem to be ripening anytime soon so that's what you're going to use. We are going to start by mashing them and you'll need about three quarter to one cup of ripe bananas when smashed so I cannot really say that you need two or three bananas just measure out one cup and you'll be good to go and this is because uh, as you all know there are some big bananas and there are some small bananas as you can see mine are the small ones and so I need roughly about three to four bananas so this is quite okay because we'll continue smashing as we continue the process so I'm going to measure out so this is roughly three quarter cup then to my flour I'm also going to add about a tablespoon and a half and the exact quantity of the ingredients are going to be listed in the description box so you can check that out then I'm going to mix this and if at all you're going to be using the self-raising flour uh, you do not need to add any baking powder then let's start working on our butter and I'm going to beat this for about 30 or so seconds. Then I'm going to add quarter cup of my cooking oil. And I'm also going to measure quarter cup of some margarine. So while baking, always make sure that you're using clean hands. Uh, for such instances. Then I'm going to mix this till everything is well combined. I'll go in with my salt, about one eighth of a teaspoon. I'll also add in my vanilla essence and I'm going to add one tablespoon. my sugar then I'll go in with my eggs one at a time Always remember to scrape the sides of your container so that everything can be well incorporated. And I tell you, Maina, that the smell in this kitchen right now, I just have to try out this recipe. Then we are going to add our flour in bits. So once everything is just combined, you need to stop at that point so that you do not end up over mixing your flour and activating the gluten. Always remember to always taste your butter. Um, hmm. And I can confirm that this tastes amazing. 
and that simply means that our end product is also going to be amazing i'm also going to line my lofting with some parchment paper and i need to also apply some margarine at the sides so that my cake does not stick and then i'm going to add this in here And in the meantime, uh, my oven is preheating at 160 degrees. Then we're going to bake this for about 50 to 60 minutes. So that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. Also, hope you are going to share this recipe because I promise you that this is just the best recipe. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Don't definitely see you in my next one. Bye.